Let's be honest, meeting notes and call scheduling in ClickUp has not been an easy solution in the past. Often enough, I scheduled through a scheduler to then generate a task within ClickUp, to then attach meeting notes, to then add the recording and do all of these kinds of things. ClickUp has just rolled out features and automations that are going to make your life easier when it comes to to really simplifying and automating your client notes. Talk about recurring meetings with your clients. Talk about any kind of trainings, any kind of these things where you might also wanna have a meeting agenda, you wanna have a plan, you wanna invite people, you wanna do things, you wanna make meetings with your clients simpler than it has been in the past. It has become way more simple and today is the first video in a few videos that I'm going to bring you to talk about how to use ClickUp to really simplify ClickUp meetings and the note takings and follow up that happen for these calls. If we haven't met yet, hey there, I'm Yvonne Hyman. I am a business efficiency consultant here at AskEvie.com and I make sure that you do not have to work 24 seven in your business, but actually can step away and your business can run without you by implementing simple systems. So let's dive into how those recent ClickUp changes and updates are simplifying your everyday work. Little bit of a disclaimer, this is working right now for Google Calendar. ClickUp is working on more and more things for Microsoft too. This specifically, is for all of my Google Calendar users. So with that, your step number one is going to be making sure you actually can use the Google Calendar integration between ClickUp and Google Calendar. And with that, go into your ClickUp workspace settings and find the calendar menu item. Right in here, you will find the Google Calendar and make sure this is connected to your Gmail account. If you have connected it before, you might have to reconnect it. Things have gotten way easier than they used to be in the past. So as you can see right here, we have my business account is connected to it. You can add multiple accounts. We have the two-way saying, um, you can sync certain tasks to different calendars. So where you might want to sync your private space, you might want to sync all of the tasks that are assigned to you, really go through and choose what you want to sync with the calendar in the future. You're also going to see different other settings right here in this Google Calendar integration, like launch your next meeting and real-time sync and Google Calendar automations. This is where the magic starts to happen. So really make sure this is connected and working nicely. You're going to be able to check all that simply by going into your calendar view. Now I am in the beta of the new calendar connection too, where there is a lot of time blocking going on, so there is more coming for you. ClickUp really has put a lot of resources into upgrading their Google Calendar integration. So with this right here, what you are seeing is there is a Google Calendar meeting. So we did this pulling it in from a Google Calendar. Little preview to an upcoming video, when you go right in here, you also have the AI note taker now. You don't need a separate note taker. ClickUp can do this now for you. But I digress. Let's go back to the most recent feature where setting up meetings in ClickUp is going to become, it's not going to become, has become way simpler in the past. As I said, I used to have scheduling tool and then my, sent my clients over there from a call and for them to schedule and then needed to still pull it into ClickUp so I can block the timeout and I can account for that. So many things. Now, what you can is when you are generating a task, it can do something for you within ClickUp. So for example, when a task is created, or in my case, we are in my CRM space when a subtask is created. Only subtasks. And then you could actually also give it an additional data point. So we are in a CRM setup. This is how I manage my one-on-one -on -one clients. You could have, first of all, a call list where you know every single subtask is a call 
or you could add a drop down field that distinguishes what type of subtask that is that says this is a call to really just have this automation running when it needs to run so you can determine yes this subtask is really a call now that you determine that this specific task or subtask is a call by it just being a specific call list or you determining it by a drop down field then you can go in here and say calendar and there is google calendar automations it now can create an event update an event or delete an event let's start with the simple one simple one create an event cool i just added a subtask to this com entry which means the COM entry, the main task, is the client or the lead. The subtask is going to be a call. Awesome. We now create a task, a calendar entry within Google Calendar. You can choose the title and you can pull your custom fields from ClickUp to give it a title. You can pull custom fields from the description and plug it in there. You can add conferencing. This, these integrations and the AI note taker within ClickUp talk to Google Hangouts. It doesn't talk to Zoom, but talks to Google Hangout in these automations. So with that start time, you're choosing your start time, you're choosing your end time. You are, is it an all day event? That was a issue in the past. Attendees, you can pull users from your ClickUp, so your team meeting. You can set up automatic team meeting recurring task within ClickUp and then automate the calendar entry for it. So with this, Live Now has become a step easier in your Google Calendar and ClickUp integration than it has before. Now, let's keep playing with this a little bit. ClickUp now has integration where you automatically within ClickUp can take a task or a subtask and based on that, generate a Google Calendar entry. ClickUp has documents where you can predetermine what your meeting is going to look like and you can build a document template for your meeting notes and not only that you also can automate all of this and use ClickUp ai note taker to take your notes and now suddenly you don't have ten thousand different tools all over the place that are just doing whatever they want to do and maybe they talk with each other maybe they don't and how am i getting this information to there to here to there now we are on the perfect path to really simplify client calls, those meeting notes and everything that is going on to then be able to take whatever has happened in those client meetings and turning them into actionable tasks. And I, for one, am really excited about this. So play around with it, pop in the comments. I wanna hear from you. What are you envisioning this to turn into? What kind of features would you love to see? How are you going to integrate this into your daily ClickUp usage and with your clients, maybe even just playing around with using an application form for students or leads that then turns into calls and all kinds of stuff. I'm curious, how are you going to use these automations and these new features that ClickUp has rolled out for us to simplify and automate your life. And automations is not just about time. It's about running your business smarter. And if you're ready to automate more and more of your business, check out this next video where I show you how to automate and scale your business with repeatable systems using ClickUp. What a concept. I'll catch you in the next video.